You're watching Old Mates Backyard Tech. Whether you love them or hate them, it's hard to get away from the fact. But Google is one of the biggest global tech giants we have on Earth today. It can be argued too big to fail. Now, for many decades, quantum computing was science fiction theory. However, in the last decade or so, it's taken many leaps and bounds. Now, Google, we all know, has spread its fingers through the entire IT and science technology field globally. They want to be the duck's guts. They want to be the first with quantum computing. Well, judging by this, their ego may get boosted over this whole claim. It's news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, Google claims quantum supremacy with, fi with 53 qubits. From the Backyard Tech Channel. This is BYT News. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is BYT News time here at the Backyard Tech Channel for TBIM Monday morning. And uh, this one cropped up in my news feeds last night. I don't know what's up with my feeds, they're coming in late. But uh, this is just going to boost Google's ego with this whole quantum computing. Um, their claim... Some on face value, I guess you could say they've nailed it, but there are going to be those out there who will have a more alternate view on this one. This is from Tom's Hardware on Saturday. Google claims quantum supremacy with with fifty three qubits. In a new scientific publication, Google, Google claims to have reached quote unquote quantum supremacy with a 53-qubit 53 53 quantum computer, meaning that it has solved a problem that no classic computer can solve within a reasonable time frame. It's the first time this has been achieved, making a major milestone in the field of quantum computing. While the term supremacy is a bit of an exaggeration, as it concerns just one application, it shows that quantum computing with their qubits uh, all but still years from commercialization in all likelihood, have finally reached a point where they have solved a problem that, is, that no transistor-based computer or supercomputer could ever solve, essentially proving that quantum computers indeed work. Quote, To our knowledge, this experiment marks the first computation that can only be performed on a quantum processor, close quote, the Google researchers wrote. The experiment involved calculating the output of certain specialised circuits with an input randomly generated numbers, uh, quote, produced through a specialised scenario involving quantum phenomena, close quote. The quantum processor took 200 seconds to sample one instance of the quantum circuit one million times, while a supercomputer, <coughs> excuse me, would require 20,000 years to perform that task according to the researchers. The quantum computer use, used was Google's 53-qubit 53 53 uh, Sycamore system, scaling back from their 72-qubit Bristol Cone machine, although no reason was provided. The researchers further predict that quantum computing power will grow at a double, at, at a double exponential rate, possibly referring to exponential growth in capabilities which, with each new qubit, but with the number of qubits growing at, at an exponential rate akin to Moore's law. Fortune claimed on Friday that the Financial Times first reported on the news. Google posted the paper on nasa.gov earlier this last week. But it has since been taken down. A Google spokesperson declined to comment, but a source from Fortune says the paper was probably accidentally published before it had passed the peer review process. 
Not too long ago, quantum computers belonged largely to science fiction, but in recent years, several companies have made progress in scaling up the number of qubits, including Google, IBM, Microsoft, and Intel. Last year, IBM already proved that quantum computing computers could be superior to classical ones for certain problems. While Intel unveiled its 49 qubit Tangle Lake quantum computer at CES 2018. Now, I'm only going to say one thing here. Um, Google likes to massage its ego, and this helps it. But if this is fact, this adds a major layer and, an, and a, 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 well, I don't want to say a quantum leap, although quantum meaning small, but this does indicate a leap, a leap in the ability and I guess you could put it down to a, um, serious research, obviously, but quantum computing may be getting closer than most of us possibly realize. Thus, the likes of Cray, IBM, and other large scale supercomputer manufacturers may start looking at this. If this keeps going, then quantum computing and quantum CPUs may be closer than we thought, even if you do massage Google's ego. So there we go. Google claims quantum supremacy with 53 qubits. Hmm. Stick around. We're going to get stuck into that G5 Mac very soon. Have a good one all. Cheers.